if you really did have yeah. knowledge of history, what would you right. do? Yeah. So I think we're gonna get like a Nomad uh, Steve Rogers movie where he's just out, just beating on people. He's pounding ass in the, in the closest retirement home. What? <laughs> Back to New Rock Stars. I'm Phil Molina. This is Road Theory. Merry Christmas! It happened! Hey, We're here! We did it! We survived! We survived! Side of it. We survived. The tamales. prophecy was wrong! Yeah. Uh, uh, guys. Did you say tamales? I said, yeah, tamales! Yeah. Oh, great. oh, great! Tommy, great work uh, yesterday and all, all Christmas. Thank uh, you! Yeah. 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 No felonies! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag uh, no fells! That was our, our goal, sending you into the holiday. It was yeah. like... We can't afford. What to did lose I promise? Either. I yeah. wasn't going to surround myself with little people and claim I was a Christmas god this year. And I didn't. <laughs> I surrounded myself with tall people and claimed I was a Christmas goon. <laughs> goon. Uh, guys, it's the season to talk about old man Cap, right? Yeah. Because of oh, old, yeah. uh, white men. Not too many Christmases <laughs> left for him. Oh, uh, well, maybe. Actually, uh, you can watch Eric uh, answer that question very clearly of how Hello. old is old man Cap oh. and is he going to die soon? Yeah. Uh, and we went really into that. He's going to bury all of us. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's what is what we've had. Oh, oh, oh. Go watch that episode of Big Question. Uh, but with me to answer these questions of this episode of Rogue Theory is Eric Boss. Yay. Hi, everyone. Merry Tommy Bechtold. Hello. And Marina Mastros. <laughs> and Tommy Bechtold. Hey. 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 Guys, on this episode, uh, we're going to also discuss uh, the war. Yep. Between the streamers. What? Oh. Uh, or the streaming services. Uh, but first, we're still thinking about, okay, Avengers Endgame, mm -hmm. how it both ended the stories of some of our absolute favorite characters, and it potentially set the stage for the next phase of the MCU and the yes. next chapters. And there's a character that could or could not maybe be involved in the handoff here. Steve Rogers, mm -hmm. Captain America. Are you familiar? Yes. Yeah, Thank I've you. Heard of heard of him? Uh, yeah. Uh, he ended, as we saw, as the old guy on the bench, mm -hmm. uh, you know, slowly dying. <laughs> so I, I <laughs> but that's we are all so he's dying even slower than we are. That's true. That's serum. Oh, I uh, the bench a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Dude's uh, tight. Um, the existence of the Black Widow movie shows us that even if a character dies, it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't get their own movie More later. Story, yeah. Or they don't get to be a guest on Rogue Theory anymore, right? <laughs> so my question to you... <laughs> Tommy Beck ghost? He, he's, yeah. he looks real. Tommy ghost told. <laughs> yeah. Spooky ghost yeah. back. More offensive. Spooky spook told. <laughs> uh, uh, his his uh, grope feels so real. <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> so my question to you is, assuming that we see more of Captain America in the MCU, how? What he, what's he going to be doing? Bro, we're bringing back everyone's favorite thing about Captain America, his beard. Because Ooh. we are people mourned the loss of that beard. Yes. I, listen, I'm on social media two hours a day legally. That's all I can do. <laughs> and all my devices had to be shut off. When Captain America shaved his beard, people were devastated. I but was. What, now, yeah, see? See, people were sad. We like a scruff. We like a scruff, but not too much. Okay. But, Why do you uh, have to look at Eric when he's Note taken. <laughs> it's an inside joke between he and I, and only between us. Him Great. and me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I think like we're getting gonna get like an old man Logan movie where, because like I feel like that's the only way you can compel Chris Evans back into the role is to Ooh, be like we're gonna yeah. do something a little darker, a little grittier. Yeah. We're gonna take this timeline that is now uh, fresh to explore where you can do anything. And I think we're going to see ourselves in like 1985. Ooh, a scruffy fun. cap. A little okay. older, like maybe late 50s. That's a fun Great. time. So not actually old, old man cap. No, no, no. no. Go back to a period that we haven't seen. You yeah. said 1985? Yeah, is that sure. What you said? Yeah. How old is he Great. then? Tommy, 40. <laughs> <laughs> Too old. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think, well, at that point, if we like look at, the, he would probably be like, like 60? That's great. 55? Yeah, or at least he'd have the, the body of someone yeah. that age. Yeah. We did discuss that he ages at a slower rate, so right. he's actually in his hundreds by the time we see him on the bench, mm -hmm. but he has the body of a tight 80-year-old. Right, so, and so I'm talking a ripped 60. <laughs> We're talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. you oh, go yeah. to the beach, you look at your Uncle Phil, and he has not been skipping workouts. Yeah. Uncle right? Phil. Yeah. Uncle Phil. <laughs> he's a judge in Bel Air, but he's <laughs> trim and slim. R.I.P. James muscle. Avery. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's in heaven. Not with Adam West. He's still in hell. Call back to a month and a half ago. Yeah. Uh, Very long ago. Yikes. Uh, great. Anyway. <laughs> So I think we're gonna get uh, you know, the, the Steve Rogers character, uh, as Eric was right to help me fix. It's not called the Drifter. The Drifter is just someone I dream about. Uh, the Nomad. Or, and there's like right Nomad. The nomad. Yeah. So yeah. I think we're gonna get like a Nomad uh, Steve Rogers movie where he's just out, just 
beating on people. You well, know? it's set during the Cold War. Yeah. Is that, is that <laughs> at play? That certainly could be. Maybe he's down. Uh, maybe he's down in South America when the Russians were uh, giving all the uh, the Iran. What is it? The Iran Contra affair. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. The well, the spread of communism was the the big threat at the time, and right. it's going through Central America yeah. and into South America. That's an, a new take on that too. Yeah. So that's my pitch. <laughs> Wait, what was in uh, Iran Contra? Was where Ali North was selling weapons to rebels to do an anti-communist coup in Guatemala. Oh, you know more about that than probably all of us at this table. <laughs> I watched that episode of The Americans. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I think that's right. That does sound right. Right, and then <laughs> all I and know then Felicity is... cut her hair and saved the day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. Well, these references are, will be cut, so, <laughs> so that's fine. Uh, oh, okay, I, I actually what really are you talking about, idea. John Stockton? New Kids on the Block has a new album out. Yeah, uh, I love this idea, Tommy. Uh, you. you got a rogi um, because I, re- I really like uh, that the cap at that age. I think that's mm-hmm. really interesting. It also reminds me of how Red Guardian looks like shit mm-hmm. in, 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 in Black Widow. Yes. But this is kind of like okay, the actual Super Soldier Serum mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. turns you into like well, actually, how old is Hugh Jackman right now? In real life, yeah, fifty-two. Exactly. So, oh like, God, even really? when he's like sixty, or or Tom Cruise is is about sixty, yeah, yeah, yeah or seven, something like yeah. that. So there, still. these people can still like kick ass. Yeah, I'd, I would love to see that that movie. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, maybe there's still younger characters involved or something. Yeah, yeah sure, yeah. of course. Yeah, he's got a, a hot girlfriend. Or something. He's got to have a hot girlfriend. Oh, it would be Sharon Carter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure, it could be Sharon Carter. Peggy Carter it could be great niece. John Carter of Mars. John yeah. Carpenter of Mars. Yeah, yeah. John Carpenter's <laughs> Ghost of Mars. John Agent Carter, Joe Doctor. Carter. Uh, Carter. <laughs> Carter from Tom the president. Yard. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy yeah, Carter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy Carter. Uh, yeah, great. All right, well, we answered it. <laughs> Glad <laughs> that this episode of Rogue Theory is done. Uh, no, uh, guys, what else could we see Old Man Cap do? Similar to, to Tommy's theory, if we're assuming that Cap is living in an alternate history, right? Mm. An alternate 20th century history where he's living with uh, Peggy. I feel like there's like... An, a fascinating story there where imagine you're cap you're living in 1948 you're mm-hmm. you're aging you're watching 20th century history play out yeah. and you already kind of know mm-hmm. what's going to happen you you know things about the cold war you know about kennedy's assassination you but know about if Vietnam. he's as up on his history as we are then he knows nothing <laughs> about yeah. what's gonna happen <laughs> right he did have that work. like that book that he yeah. kept. he's like what is a star war the, he, the almanac <laughs> yes yeah sports almanac. i mean he could be <laughs> just yeah. bet on famous sports yeah, events yeah. if he right. remembers them i think he's gonna face a lot of moral quandaries of which battles do I fight it's gonna be mm-hmm. I think we'll see Cap in the 1950s like in 1960s maybe like facing some of these major 20th century history historical events yeah like do I go into the jungles of Vietnam and mm-hmm. try to prevent like Viet Cong conflicts with the French colonials do Ooh. I go to Ooh. Dallas in 1963 man. and try to stop Lee Harvey Oswald it's gonna be Whoa. like similar to that Stephen King James Franco Hulu series uh, um, 112263 where mm. it's like if you really did have yeah. knowledge of history what would you right. do? Yeah. You, you also just reminded me of two things. One is Quantum Leap, right? Yes. Going back Similar, where it's yeah. like, I can help certain things, but if I help too much, he actually, in, in Quantum Leap, Scott Bakula has the ability to prevent Kennedy's assassination. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be a big that. issue. But then also Man in High, ca- high Castle, mm-hmm. right? Where yeah. it's like, well, what if he does adjust something and then we get Cap playing out an alternate timeline yeah. where you know maybe the US isn't the dominant power and he's still Captain America, mm-hmm. but it's uh, America is not a big deal anymore. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you have this kind of like interesting time travel story but the traveling part is over it's just like you're in a different time and like having to face watch horrible things happen but you're kind of powerless oh, to man. stop them mm-hmm. and him tough. dealing with that battle yeah. oh and then he's caused like so much more death and destruction somehow yeah. and then when Sam's like so you want to tell me about it he's like no, oh, no. That's why. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want to share what I've been through uh, you get a rogi yeah. I'm, I'm pretty into this idea actually yeah, cool. uh, so uh, both of these ideas are are, are set in the past, and I, I hadn't even been considering period pieces for for Cap. I was imagining we have said it before, but Batman Beyond, basically, oh, mm-hmm. sure, is, yeah, you know, where he's yeah. training new people or something. Of course. Uh, Marina, what's your angle? Your angles are ageist, and my <laughs> angle embraces the fact that Cap is mature. Mm. We don't have to call him old Cap. We oh, can call mature. him wise Cap or <laughs> Boomer Cap. Boomer <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cap. Yeah, we call him Boomer Cap. Uh, so Boomer Cap is gonna is gonna be the mentor to uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, mm-hmm. but he's not. He he's retired and on purpose. He's retired, so he doesn't. He although he has a tight bod, as you keep repeating, uh, screaming, <laughs> t- tighter, like a the knot. tightest, yeah, uh, the yeah. shield. 
Press it against my forehead and threaten me, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> Pull, put your body uh, that is a pile of ropes and wrap yeah, it around yeah, yeah, yeah. me yes. as tight as you can. Yes. Even though he could do all of those things, and we want him to, mm-hmm. he's not going to because he's retired on purpose, he's lived his life, he's done all of these things, and he's there to give uh, training and wisdom to the people that he passed on his mantle to purposefully because he wants them to learn, he wants them to grow, and you can't grow if someone's doing everything for you. So maybe he's in, maybe he's like just, I don't want to, well, you know what? He's pounding ass in the in the closest retirement what? home. What? <laughs> he's, what? He's in a retirement home just slamming puss, right? What? And he's Go on. living his fullest. Details. He's living his fullest life. <laughs> Murdering as, cats. As a mature man. <laughs> And the only time he wants to be bothered is when Falcon and Winter Soldier are in like dire straits and they're like, we need advice from mm-hmm. Boomer yes. Cat. And they pull him out of heaven. And they pull him out of heaven. <laughs> but it's but it that be he has to be enjoying his life. They literally life. pull him out of something. <laughs> yeah. Heaven is the name uh, of a seventy four year old woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a stripper in the nineteen thirties. Yeah. Uh, heaven. Because he can't be, you know, He's retired. <laughs> He's done his job. Uh, Marina already gets a rogi. Yeah. Uh, mostly for always. I always love to be able to bring up that there is rampant sex happening in these old age <laughs> oh, homes. Oh yeah. Uh, and that uh, STDs are on the rise. <laughs> I can't them. wait. <laughs> but he's a super, what so a he doesn't get them. He doesn't. He get just them. gives he's them. He's immune. <laughs> he just gives them. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Uh, but he does carrier. carry. He yeah. is a carrier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh. Um, and that's what he's, uh, you said he was sharing his, quote, wisdom. Mm, yeah. Uh, <laughs> great. Yeah. He's living his full best life. Mm. But he's there to help his <laughs> friends when they need him. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So so he's uh, uh, maybe curmudgeonly? Yeah, sure. You might be curmudgeonly. But he shows up in uh, the new series on Disney Plus, And uh, he also, yeah. he doesn't necessarily have to be Chris Evans mm. because he's old and he has makeup. He could mm. be, what if he's just an actual older actor? Let's give some Anthony older Hopkins. actors. <laughs> John Voight for everything. Mm. Yeah. But you Except know, like, for political opinions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's yeah, have yeah. some older people getting work. Like let's let's put them in casting. Let's let's do it. Let's give Patrick the... Stewart. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> well, he already <laughs> is a cap. Yes. Cap boomer. Captain uh, I would, I Magneto. Would, and all of a sudden he's British. I don't care. Yes. Give him back to me in a tweet, everybody. Oh, mm. God damn it. Uh... <laughs> we can start with we can start with Eric. <laughs> um, Cap, back in time, deciding which history to change and which history to watch through tears. (laughs) Captain, no. Nomad is a go in this alternate tale of pals uh, seeking trials (laughs) to find who is good. (laughs) Trials. <laughs> well, and also the previous rhyme was pales for pals, I think. Pals. <laughs> pales. Trials. Or trialf. Trialf. He's a great character from a legendary series. No more alf references in any of these episodes. God damn it. Uh, great. <laughs> and Marina. Um, okay. Boomer Cap retires the shield, but not that dick. Whoa. <laughs> As he goes on to help Falcon and Winter Soldier as their mentor. Hashtag Super that Super Soldier scene. Is this a hitch? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's better, yeah. What if he's, he's just helping getting them. these women pregnant? He's They're like all lucky old. women. But he's, yeah, like, lucky. He's, but he's got lucky, the Super Soldier semen. Oh, he's God. bringing the eggs back. He's, yeah. Like an Easter bunny. He's putting them back into menopause. Uh, putting them back? He's bringing he's them the back. He doesn't do that. Doesn't the Easter bunny make women fertile again? Yes. Did sure. I hear an alternate tale of the? What else does he do? Uh, I was told he always just puts eggs back inside of women's wombs. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Marina. What? I'm Irish. This is a folk tale. Ta- take this quarter rogie and solve Tommy's issues. I'll do please. it. Yeah. I'll I'm do fine it. medically. I am not too bad. The doctor even said 75. percent You're okay. 25. percent It's not good. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> it, wasn't, it, it wasn't. A, it wasn't my doctor. I just stormed yeah, yeah, yeah. into a. I'll remind a you at the beginning office. of this. We established you are currently dead. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but still goes to those doctor appointments. Yeah. <laughs> Every time, Shows guys. Up. Uh, in the comments, let us know. Did any of this make sense? Uh, but what what do you think is actually going to happen with Old Man Cap? We have a little while until we we find out. Mm-hmm. But we will hold you accountable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> to what you've said there and what you've done penalties. here, Tommy. Uh, and what you did over the break, uh, guys. Let's take a quick break. Okay. 
Hey guys, I'm back in the blue dungeon to thank the sponsor of this video, Bang Energy. Every can of Bang is 16 ounces. That's right, there are no wimpy 12 ounce cans anywhere in sight. It contains 300 milligrams of caffeine, it is sugar free, and has zero calories, and it tastes great with 20 different flavors to choose from. One of these great flavors is Cherry Blade Lemonade. And let's crack open this baby to see what we're working with. You got the cherry, you got your lemonade, and you got the blade that cuts back and forth between the flavors. Look, there are just some mornings where I wake up after raging. Just kidding, like re-watching Attack of the Clones. And when my veins are feeling like they're full of sludge, a can of Bang Energy just helps pick me up so that I can cherry blade lemonade through any work I gotta do. Check out Bang on Instagram. You can get 25% off your order at bang-energy.com when you use the code NEWROCKSTARS25. That's a discount worth a toast. There you can get a variety 12 pack with a dozen of their flavors. Flavors like pina colada, cotton candy, and rainbow unicorn. Have you ever tasted a rainbow unicorn? Unicorn, well thank you. And so will your taste buds. Thanks again to Bang Energy for sponsoring this video. Get 25% off at bangenergy.com using code NEWROCKSTARS25. And follow the inventor of Bang on Instagram at bangenergy.ceo. All right, welcome back, guys. So it is insane how well the streaming services are actually doing right now. Yeah. Yeah. I know all of you bet against them, and you all were wrong, <laughs> every single one of you. Mm -hmm. But we don't know who's going to be the champion of this thing. And we decided what the hell we're going to decide who is the utmost winner of the streaming wars. Rumble. This Rumble. is huge. Royal Rumble style. We're going to throw them out of the ring. Uh, and it's, it's scripted. This whole fight is scripted. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But no, actually, I want you guys to pick between. You ready? Yeah. Apple TV Plus or Apple Plus or whatever, Disney Plus, okay. Amazon Prime, Hulu, and then the old school daddy Netflix. Mm. And then uh, we'll say if there? you want to go after HBO Max and Peacock, yeah. feel free, but you're digging your own grave. All right, this is serious. You're, this is till death. <laughs> Eric, get us started. Okay, I'm going to jump on the obvious one, Disney Plus, mm. but... I think it's going to be the champion for reasons that are not so obvious. Okay. So first off, Disney Plus had a g pretty solid rollout yeah. with, with shows like The Mandalorian. They're going to continue having streaming series throughout 2020. And 2021, they're going to ramp up. They're going to have four different Marvel streaming series. Um, and that add that on top of their expanding catalog. Um, but what's crazy about what they're going to be able to do... I believe one thing we learned from this past year in, uh, in, in 2019 through this whole Spider-Man deal with Sony... I think we are setting up, uh, or Disney set themselves up to profit even more from the Spider-Man character, which is Sony's real cash cow. Huh. I think in a couple years, they're gonna buy out Sony. Oh, so wow. within a couple years, they're gonna get all of Sony's catalog and material. Whoa. So that adds Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, yeah, yeah, yeah. plus all the stuff they got from Fox. Yeah. Uh, that includes The Simpsons, which is already on Disney yes. Plus. And they're gonna get all Sony's catalog, their back catalog of uh, Spider-Man movies, yeah. their Jumanji wow. films, the Bond films. It's all gonna be on one platform. <gasps> and right now, I think the big complaint about Disney Plus is that it doesn't have like an option for just like adults who want to watch like an R-rated movie mm -hmm. that they liked. Like currently Disney owns Deadpool and they don't have that on Disney yeah. Plus. Mm -hmm. So are they going to release that on Hulu? No, I think after year one, Disney's going to, they already have this all mapped out. Disney Dark. Uh, Disney Dark. Dark Disney. Uh, or Disney Plus Plus. Or Plus Disney X. Yeah. Yeah, um, Disney X. And we're going to see, uh, they're going to have an additional tier for, for, PG-13 and R-rated huh. leaning content. Wow. Um, so that like, they can like, keep it separate from kids. Go into town on Minnie. <laughs> yeah, go into yeah, town. Yeah, yeah. Pound town. The Pound Donald ass. serving Daisy with divorce papers. Pound you, town. One of the first MP3s ever downloaded was Donald Duck getting a blowjob. Have you guys heard <laughs> it? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I got it on it's Napster great. as well. It holds yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> it holds uh, up. Eric's theory is basically Disney is the blob. Yeah. Mm. And I think they have this all planned out. It's going to be like a duopoly between Disney and all of its holdings and whatever Warner can muster if it buys it. Out Netflix. It's a pretty good argument. You're going to get a rogi for yeah. it. All right. wow. okay. uh, but Disney just will buy everything. It seems exactly yeah. like Yeah, because they're, they're already playing it so smart by integrating everything with their theme parks, which makes more money than most of their film and TV properties. Just mm. those parks alone and their merchandising opportunities. Mm. So right now they are ahead of every other studio in terms of merchandising and turning their experiences into places you can visit, pay a lot of money yes. to walk into and explore on your own. And, and that's the bottom line. That's why yeah. we call you Eric Bottom Line Boss. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know who they don't have more money than Amazon. That's and true. That's why that's true. I am going to argue on behalf of Amazon Prime, which 
has all of the things that Disney has, minus obviously their their direct content, but they have original series, they have movies, they have original movies, they have uh, aggregated content from other other production companies that they buy and they license. They also have the rental option for everyone else's property. It's true. So you can stay within one subscription to Amazon Prime and you can still rent a Disney movie. I could mm-hmm. go rent oh, Inside Out yeah. for two ninety nine. Now granted, if I obviously if I'm gonna rent more than four Disney movies a month, it's worth rent getting Disney Plus. Yeah. But if not, if you're just going to get one or two Disney Plus movies a month, why not just rent them and then have your Amazon prescription Prime subscription, which comes with Amazon Prime delivery also. So you're not yeah, just getting does, yeah. you're getting so much more than just the streaming network. So that, kind of- that's actually why Amazon shows are what they are. Is that the vast majority of Amazon Prime viewers are actually people who just signed up for the yeah. delivery service, mm-hmm. yep. which means they're wealthy enough to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all of their shows skew older for that reason. Mm. Well, and but do you think Disney will continue to license all their film properties to a competitor? Mm. I think so because you make a ton of money that way. I'm sure they're banking. This is demanded yeah. content. This is yeah. what I think. I don't know if any of you is about to take uh, Netflix or something, but things like, oh, really? Okay, well, things like The Office and Parks and Rec, anything owned by NBC that's going to go to Peacock, I think Peacock is not really going to do great, but they're going to license it to everybody. Mm. And then I don't know what Netflix exactly is going for it after that, but mm. maybe well, Marina will tell I, us. I will tell you right Meanwhile, now. Meanwhile, real quick, just for going out on the limb, shout out to Jeff Bezos. We went to high school together. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You did? Well, together? he went to he went, he went no, not together, but he went to my high school, and so now he's like the second most uh, successful person that went to my high school. Yeah. <laughs> He's no Molina. You really got him. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, really him. got him. Yeah, uh, you really burned him. Uh, I'm on the Netflix side uh, for a couple of the reasons that you touched on, which is that like Disney Plus doesn't have anything for adults, right? And the uh, and Amazon Prime has stuff for like older older adults, like you know like boomers. Mm. Old man cap. Yeah, old man cap. Yeah. Slamming. Does he have time to watch content? It seems like he just needs Gatorades and yeah. quick Matlock at 4 p.m. <laughs> and then I go to bed. But here's the thing that Netflix does, and it's established itself as this, and it continues to provide this to people who are in between those ages and everybody in between, like just everybody who wants to sit down and go, I don't know what I want to watch. I'm going to discover it as I browse through this thing. It's the closest thing to TV, right? Like TV, we used to sit down and go like, oh, what's on TV? And if Mm. you're not, like you only, I only go on Disney Plus if I know what I want to watch and I know, like I want to watch Lady and the Tramp. But I have never sat down, which I do, guys. I do want to watch that. (laughs) Live action. I did watch both, yeah. Mm. It's good, it's cute. Mm. but I have never, not one time, sat down and been like, I'm gonna browse mm. Disney Plus. Same thing with Amazon. I'm either there to rent something mm. specific, but I sit, like when I don't know what to watch, what to watch I sit down and I turn on Netflix and I browse and I discover uh, content because they have a, sure. so much content. They also have nostalgic stuff that Disney Plus has. And they were the first powerhouse that started. The reason that you, these platforms even exist is because Netflix came out with House of Cards and won 13 Emmys or whatever. It's true. So, and then all of the other uh, entertainment companies went like, oh shit, mm. we have to start competing. Yeah. And they're the original ones and they have, I mean, Stranger Things, Unbelievable is a very good show. Yeah. House of Cards, like you discover things on there and you go like, wow, I just found out what this is and it's amazing. Yeah, Netflix's success is the reason Fox sold to Disney. Mm-hmm. Why that huge sale went through is because yep. Fox looked down the line in the future and realized there's there no way they could compete. Mm-hmm. Yep. You guys aren't holding back at all. You're This is a real cutthroat argument. I'm Gloves sorry you guys off. had to see that. Uh, Gloves man, are off. The granddaddy uh, network with the mass catalog mm-hmm. versus uh, the most money argument yep. versus the also mass catalog that Eric <laughs> thinks that it's going to We it's own everything attack. and you're going to buy it. Man, you guys went real brutal with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and boy, was that uh, section cut tightly. <laughs> How many uh, rogies do I get? Uh, well, for, since you asked, you get one. Yay! Um, Asking ye shall receive. Oh wait, does this one not have? There you go. I Sorry. can also has one rogue. I didn't already give you one for doing the Jeff <laughs> he Bezos got thing. One. You yes. did. Okay. I was trying to sneak uh, a rogue in. <laughs> uh, guys, it's time for rogue questions. Oh, Yay! Do it. Yeah. We haven't seen them. I haven't seen them, and nobody's seen them. Nobody's gonna see them. <laughs> it's Christmas time. It was. Uh, what gift would you get your favorite MCU character? Mm. MCU character, and what gift you would get them? Mm. Oh, I'd get everyone a baby Yoda. Wow. Oh. 
protect everyone in the MCU. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets a baby Yoda because you calm down and everyone stops fighting and they all just want to be a nurturer. Yeah. All right. Every character, even the villains in the MCU, have a baby Yoda <laughs> wait, now wait, to wait, play wait. with. Too late. Tommy. <laughs> uh, I would get... Uh, I would get the Hulk, a.k.a. Bruce Banner, in his permanent Hulk, semi-Hulk state, uh, home cleaning for a year. Because I imagine he knocks over a lot of stuff. Yeah. Because he's not used to having really a sweet. big body like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I remember I gained a lot of weight after college, and I started knocking things over mm -hmm. more. And, and someone gave me full-time care. It was actually state-mandated. I had to have a nurse <laughs> with me at all times. But it meant so much that the state of New York gave me that Care, gift yeah. and i'd like to pass that on but that nurse made you really angry at times too and so you would knock stuff over because of them yeah and she didn't like me when i was angry <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or did he not like me when i was angry the nurse was a man philip thank you it's <laughs> thank 2019 you, thank you. you wow. got tommy again wow guys come on out I, come on out guys. i think you established the first gender <laughs> i did yep, <laughs> yeah, you're right yeah, i got tommy again guys come on right. out eric uh, on who are you me. getting what uh, I'm gonna get Cap a lifetime supply of a uh, uh, magnum <laughs> pills. Magnums or magnums, yeah, you because go. you got to lifetime <laughs> supplies from both of these people. You guys are spending well, all your money live on these so people. Long. Disney is planning another Planet of the Apes movie. Oh, thank uh, God. What other Disney? Pro <laughs> you guys are very different on this. <laughs> what other Disney property would make for a fun Planet of the Apes crossover? Mm. Hmm. Song of the South. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Josh Brolin uh, yeah. said on social media that. He <laughs> he burned his butthole while sunbathing. Mm -hmm. His mm -hmm. pucker hole all charred up. Yeah. Uh, guys, which Infinity Stone would be the best for curing a burned butthole? <laughs> mm. I think the Soul Stone. I, that's kind of where I was going Because too. you have to make a great sacrifice to come back from burning your bee hole, <sighs> right? Yeah. Like there's with that only only death can replace death <laughs> when a butthole is burned. You have to burn something else to heal your tender hole. Or what about the time stone? We know the time stone does have an influence over digestion with Doctor Strange's apple. Mm -hmm. So like, oh. is it burnt because of what he passed through it? It's, it's He said while sunbathing. Well, <laughs> it doesn't imply that it was a sun. Maybe he was sunbathing and ate some uh, food that didn't sit well with him. Ooh. <laughs> Boneless buffalo wings. <laughs> it was my guess. Yeah, mine's reality that's stone, so you could just give stone? yourself endless boneless buffalo wings mm. and just not think about your burnt butt. Oh, that's true. Oh, true. The reality stone, you could have you could have any <laughs> butt. You can have anything you, you want. You can to the whole force. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guys, that's it for uh, yeah. road questions. Uh, let's uh, say who who said butthole the most times. Oh, I yeah. said puss. Uh, oh, she did Marina, uh, this one, you get a, a dirty rogi. <laughs> oh, dirty uh, rogi. Uh, which is uh, only worth half a rogi, actually. Oh. But it still puts you in the lead Yay! Uh, this time. Yay! Marina's wish comes true, Eric. Sorry, Yay, Tommy, sorry. Finally. All right, uh, Tommy and Eric have to uh, trade places doing impressions of each other for the rest of the episode. Yeah. Great. All right, guys, uh, Switch. Switch chairs. Oh. Switch chairs. Why is there so much cocaine on this? <laughs> <laughs> Why is there no cocaine on this? <laughs> great, great. No. Yeah. Thank you. It was state mandated. I have to stay at home because I have to be attended and chaperoned at all times. My <laughs> parents will talk to me. No go. How slow? You know. <laughs> Uh, Erica, what do we got coming on the channel yeah, this week? Eric, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, first of all, thank you guys so much for having me. It's always such an honor to be here. Uh, yesterday I was doing my Christian ministry, and I was <laughs> musing on just how wonderful life is and how much I love people. And, and it's just such, a, it's such a, a great feeling to be here with you guys. My wife, Sharon, and I are expecting our third child. And, and honestly, God is so good to us right now. I don't even feel worth... I don't feel like I need to promote things because everything about me is promoting joy and godliness and goodfulness. And I just, I want to say, Tommy, you don't owe me any money, okay, buddy? <laughs> All's yeah. forgiven. Tommy, Thanks. is that okay with you? Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, he got another one off. We got yeah, Tommy yeah, yeah. again. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Wow. This is what, what I wanted. these notes? Look up big titties on Google. <laughs> Don't look at us. Look up even bigger titties Eric on Google. We never say that. Eric would look never up the hugest titties loud. Google has to offer. <laughs> Tommy, why are you yeah. so worried about Eric's notes being revealed? Yeah. All holes plus. What is this, Eric? <laughs> what is what that? that? Tommy? All holes lead to. <laughs> Tommy, don't eat that. And that is a very Tommy impression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marina Mashos, we can find you at Marina Mashos at EA Voss and then uh, at Tommy Bechtel. I regret uh, at nothing. EA Voss. <laughs> yeah, great, great. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Rogue Theory. Find me wherever you want to find me, uh, wherever I am. Bye. Bye.